What is going on guys? Jack here and welcome to episode 21 of the Rise to Glory here with Gibraltar Apex and today we start our fourth season with the first kind of domestic game of the year, the Pepe Reyes Cup against St. Joseph's, the winners of last year's Rock Cup. Going to be a pretty fun game to start the season. If you missed last game, probably worth watching, particularly the second leg. If you switched off early for any reason, go back and watch it. It was incredible. Today, as I mentioned, we are playing St. Joseph. Since the last episode, no new signings to tell you guys about. There's nothing new kind of going on in the side. It's the same team. No new kind of um, coaches, no changes behind the scenes. Uh, financially, we're still fairly strong. I've not asked for professional status just yet. We've not sold any players. And uh, yeah, all in all, I feel like we're in quite a good position going into this year. There are two injuries to let you guys know about prior to this St. Joseph's game, and that is... Um, to Ben Connolly and Felix. Uh, Connolly is out for 11 days to 3 weeks, he's going to miss the start of the season and Oliveira is out with a black back strain and uh, as a result Felix, we've sent him to the vet and he's going to be out for 5 to 6 weeks which will mean that uh, the kind of Gibraltarian Joe Borg is going to be our first choice keeper to start the year. In terms of this game against St. Joseph's, a fairly big game, St. Joseph's one of two teams uh, with the exception of us, who were playing European football this year. So if we look at their senior schedule, you can see they were knocked out of the Europa League first round against FC Cologne. And uh, as for the other team in this kind of competition, uh, or not in this competition, in uh, the Europa League, and I say we're in the Europa League because they're not anymore, unfortunately for us, Glasses United got knocked out by Dynamo Minsk. 7-0 uh, on aggregate, so not a great showing by the Gibraltarian uh, teams in Europe. I guess we were the pick of the bunch. If we can continue to do okay, that's definitely going to help us. Of course, if you did miss last episode and you haven't clicked back, we won the second leg against FC Copenhagen 3-2 away from home. Perhaps the most memorable result we've had uh, at the club so far, really. What a result that was. So anyway, let's get into today's game. You may have noticed looking at the fixtures that we lost against St. Joseph's a week ago 4-0. The reason for that being is um, all my players were on international duty and with it being a pre-season friendly, it wasn't going to be rescheduled. Uh, but yeah, if we look at the kind of national team, you can see here Gibraltar Apex, uh, pretty much, prob probably about 75 if not 80% of the national team is our players now. Uh, and it's a similar story, I guess, in the under-21s where we have a pretty good showing with six players and in the under-19s, uh, again, we have seven players there, so uh, that was the reason we struggled in that last preseason friendly. We literally didn't have a squad. So anyway, let's get into today's game, the first game of the season, hoping to start it off with some silverware. This is a competition that, unlike, say, in England the with the Community Shield where the board don't really care, in Gibraltar... They, they care about this competition. If we just look, uh, you can see they want us to win the Pepe Reyes Cup. I want to win it too. I also want to win the Rock Cup this year if we can. And um, obviously retain our title for a third year in a row. So anyway, let's get into today's game. With Connolly out, injured Peachman and Sanchez Rull are going to lead the line. Sanchez Rull, a player who last year kind of lost his spot in the side. For the first half of the year, he was an ever-present figure, but with Peachman coming into form, uh, he was dropped in the end. You can see, though, he has got goal-scoring capabilities, and I'm hoping that Sanchez Rull is going to show us a little bit of that today. So our squad, for the most part, is fairly match fit. I actually just saw the pre-match odds, and it actually said St. Joseph's were the favourites. So... I don't want to say that's a surprise, but given the injuries we have to Ben Connolly, who is of course one of our best players, but also Oliveira, Felix in goal, um, they are perhaps the two worst injuries we could have, if I'm honest. So if we can win this today, that's going to be a massive boost for our team. To win a game with, well, certainly our best two players, certainly our best player in Connolly out injured would be, would be superb. And we're on the attack here, Sanchez Rull hits the woodwork after just 20 seconds. What a start to the game that is. I want to see more of that in this game. Uh, St. Joseph's. They're holding on already, you'd have to say. We've had 70% of the possession after five minutes. We're looking fairly good here. And uh, St. Joseph's actually going to have a throw-in in their own half, which Sargent will cut out now. Hernandez, Sanchez rule. Options out wide on the right. Reyes back from injury to Griffo, saved. And he's hit the woodwork on the rebound. We have two clear-cut chances in a single highlight there. We really, really, really should be ahead in this game. And we're not, and I'm hoping we're not going to regret that, but at the moment at least, it doesn't look like we're missing Connolly or Felix too much, although a goal against us here would maybe make me t eat my words, although a good save there by Joe Borg in goal. He is Gibraltar's national kind of first choice goalkeeper, or at least he was uh, last season, with Felix taking our kind of first choice kind of goalkeeper role. It means that he's not playing so much, which is hurting his chances in the national team. 
But I'll tell you what, that is a great goal. Jack Peachman with the goal. Fourth goal of the season for him. Of course, got a fair few in the Champions League qualifiers. And he's got his fourth there. Sanchez Rull, I do believe it was with the assist. It was indeed. The two strikers linking up nicely. We're going to need them to do that with Connolly out. Um, certainly for the first league game of the year, if not a little bit longer. But that was a nice little finish on the volley. Centre-back probably should have done better. But of course, being in Gibraltar, players kind of have the ability when it comes to, well, anything of a potato at best. But anyway, we'll, we'll see if we can extend that lead now. We want to get another goal. We've been on top, but St. Joseph's have had chances, and they will have a chance here, perhaps. They have the ball. Ebbage hits it, and it's in. Joe Borg not able to get across to the bottom right-hand corner, and Ricky Ebbage getting the goal for them. The first goal he's got this year, of course, they didn't score in their Europa League campaign, that brief stint they had, uh, where they played the one game, or two legs, I guess, against FC Cologne. And unfortunately for us, that is squeezed in. And you'd have to say this game's been very, very 50-50. Looking at the stats, even possession, even shots, um, it's it's a really tight game. But we've had clear-cut chances, which we've not taken. We might have another here. Griffo, back post, taps it in. Another assist for Sanchez Rule, the striker. Well, he's not he's not looking like a striker at the moment. He's looking like a spearhead of our attack and an ever-creative presence in the team. Look at that. What a ball. A low cross threaded between the centre-back and the left-back there. And um, the ball finds its way to Griffo in left mid, who's just following up at the back post. And he will score, and he will make it 2-1 here. And you'd have to say, we're going pretty darn strong here. We need to defend well, of course. Guerrero, nice interception. Gilbert going to hoof it up to Peachman, who can't get on to the end of it. And now St. Joseph's coming at us again. A goal now, eight minutes before half time would really hurt us. It would halt momentum. It would make me have to reconsider my team talk but we are getting men behind the ball we're looking okay Roberts nice tackle now can we break away quickly we can't not with passes like that at least options out wide on the right hand side but they'll go to the left St. Joseph's and McCarthy on the overlap can he get the ball in he can Ebbage had a chance to score his second of the game but denied by Joe Borg and now we just need to defend this set piece I'll be happy with 2-1 at half time but You'd have to say we're holding on a little bit in these late stages. That was St. Joseph's first clear-cut chance, and it might not be their last. There's going to be another chance here before half-time. Prescott, the striker chasing it, has gone out for a goal kick. Now can we build something here? This is now the challenge. If we could get a goal right now to extend our lead to two, that would be amazing. Hernandez is going to try and flick it on, but unfortunately for us, uh, cut out Sanchez Rule trying to make that run down the wing again to get another assist potentially. But unfortunately that time was denied. Although Peachman here, Hernandez, options on the overlap. Reyes is there. Can he whip it in? He can. Peachman's there, headed away. But only as far as Tristan Sargent. And we are looking very menacing here in the attack. We're probing at the edge of the area. Reyes with an opportunity to get it in. And he will get it in this time. It will be another goal for Peachman. He's loving it. He is loving it this year. Ball whipped in. Reyes... Uh, from right back, it's a nice ball to be honest. He's got a lot of assists this year, or sorry, last year, Reyes. Last year he was a little bit kind of, I don't want to say questionable, but he didn't perhaps score as many as you'd expect, uh, not score, sorry, not as a assist as many as you'd expect kind of in the latter stages of the year. But, I mean, he's got this season off to a good start and assist there for him. And we're looking pretty good here. 3-1, a nice margin to have. Made my team talk a little bit easier uh, at half time and hopefully we can score early on here you know the free goal cushion you'd think could not be turned around if we can find it Sanchez rule with an option uh, to try and whip it into the box couldn't beat the first man though and that is going to be the end of the first point, pointless highlight of the game. But so far, so good. This is a very, very impressive performance. You've got to consider St. Joseph's finished, I do believe, third or fourth in the league last year. They were right up there. And to beat these guys, well, by at the moment a two-goal margin with Connolly and Felix out injured, um, that is certainly commendable. And when you consider St. Joseph's were favourites for this game, it really, uh, I guess, highlights just how good we've been today. But it's not over yet. There's half an hour left. We do need to defend... Collado to Ebbage, and Ebbage with another chance there. Could have had a hat-trick by now, but this time Joe Borg going to cling on to it and boot it to safety. Hernandez injured, so I've, uh, not injured, sorry, getting a little bit tired. We'll take him off for Cager and Drimmy. Legia is back from injury. I'm really pleased to be able to say that. Of course, he had a serious viral infection uh, last year, which really hurt him. And it meant that, um, unfortunately for us, he didn't play for the entirety of last season. And it's fair to say Legia was a little bit of a fan favourite. I feel like, particularly in our second season, he was a very, very important player for us. And I, I think he'll get a little bit of play time this year. I think we'll take off Sanchez's rule and just give him a little bit of a run out. Let him stretch his legs here. Welcome him back to the first team football with just a 13 minutes to hopefully get him a little bit of match sharpness. But we'll see how we get on here. 
It's going to be St. Joseph's with the ball. There's still time in this game. It's the 84th minute. Peachman, though, with the ball. Looks out wide to Glenn Gilbert. Whips in. Laguia is there. Welcome back, my son, from injury. He's been out for a year with a serious viral infection. But what a way to mark his return. And that was a really nicely worked goal. Ball out wide to Glenn Gilbert. Hits it low and hard. And Laguia, well, he finds a gap and he goes for it. And he lunges at the ball and finds the net. Makes it 4-1. And we're looking good here. That is a, a very, very nice finish by Laguia. And you'd have to say that is probably game set and match at this point. St. Joe's is not going to have a lot of time to get back into this game. I'd like to score more if we can. Especially considering we lost to St. Joe's 4-0 in pre-season just a week ago without our team. It's uh, We, we want to kind of set the record straight. We might have a chance here. Griffo puts in Laguia's there again. Peachman! I think it was Laguia who scored again. It was. Welcome back to the team. His second goal. Well, in the space of two minutes, I think, he got one in the 85th, he's now got one in the 86th. What was the time between those goals? It was, wow, okay, it was 69 seconds. That's a pretty impressive welcome back to the team. If you can get a hat-trick now, Laguia, go for it. Unfortunately, I don't think he's going to have time to today. But um, we have striker options with Ben Connolly out. Laguia making a kind of a, I guess, a name for himself and certainly kind of, I guess, submitting his application to be one of our first choice strikers this year that was a really good performance in the end 5-1 the final result Laguia getting a brace Peachman getting a brace as well and that's the kind of performance I want to see throughout this season and with those kind of results we could well uh, do a treble this year dare I utter those words the Pepe Reyes Cup consecutive victories two wins in a row really pleasing that uh, the Gibraltar manager, Rabi Rab uh, I was about to say Roberto, but it's not Roberto, it's Robert. Ro Robert, uh, I guess it's Montevio, was spotted at the ground. So that's a decent result for us uh, there and in front of him. And, well, I'll tell you what, Peachman getting man of the match, a 9.1 rating for him. And you can see here, he did get called up for the Gibraltar squad over the summer break. So hopefully he can continue to play for, of course, Gibraltar. That would be really cool to see. Alongside, hopefully, when fit, Ben Connolly, who, again, another player who... I, I want to see this guy fit. I, I need to extend his contract if I can, to be honest. I want to keep him on as long a deal as I can. He's just so good for us. Like, um, I don't I don't think he can be underrated. If he signs that three-year deal, I'll be very happy. Only a £30 pay rise as well. But anyway, guys, that's going to wrap up this episode from me. Thank you for watching, as always. Hopefully you've enjoyed. A fantastic start to our season here in Gibraltar. I think this year we're going to probably do slightly less frequent episodes to last year. Maybe there'll be four or five episodes in the end. I guess it depends on how we do in cup competitions. But nevertheless, I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed. As always, if you have, smash the like button. If you've got any comments, leave them down below. And other than that, it is me, Jack. And I'll talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out.